All right, welcome. Today's lesson 66 is special right triangles. What's our objective class? Get ready. Special right triangles. sitting up straight and he's watching forward so I know he's listening and ready to learn. Nice learning position. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about two types of triangles, the 45, 45, 90 and the 30, 60, 90. Those numbers refer to their angle measure and they're common here. You're going to use them a ton, especially in high school next year. So um, we're going to break it down and I'm going to show you a really cool pattern that anytime you see a 45, 45, 90 triangle, you're going to know a special formula to figure out how long their sides are without doing any calculations. All right? Same thing, I'm going to show you a 30, 60, 90 triangle and you're going to memorize a pattern for its side lengths and so you can figure out the relationships. So we're going to first start with this square. All the sides are the same. We're going to go from uh, corner to corner. We're going to cut that 90 degree angle right in half forming a 45 degree angle. Should be the same on this side. Look, I've got two congruent sides, so an isosceles right triangle and two 45 degree angles. Okay, again, it has to be 45 and 45 because my sides are the same way. I now have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. What kind of triangle? Get ready. 45, 45, 45 90, 90 triangle. triangle. Okay, 45, 45, 90. My side lengths are one, one. The question is, what is my hypotenuse of this triangle? So if I were to draw it separate, just to clean it up, I've got 45, 45, one, one, what is C or my hypotenuse? So we're going to say Pythagorean's theorem says leg squared plus leg squared equals C squared. One squared is one plus one squared is one equals C squared. One plus one is two equals C squared. I don't want C squared. I wanted C. So I need to square root both sides. I want the principal square root or the positive square root. So that gives me a positive root two for the length. Now, I want to pose to you this question. If I took this triangle here and doubled everything about it. I doubled the dimension of it, okay? So I made this twice as long. I'm gonna draw it right down here. Pretend it's to scale. Whoa. Okay. And now this is two, and this is two. I still have my 45 and 45, two. I'm gonna double the root two, but the way you double root two is you just two times it in front of it. So I have 2, 2, 2 root 2. Let's take this triangle and triple it. 3, 3, 3 root 2. Let's quadruple it. 4, 4, 4 root 2. Let's 10 times it. 10, 10, 10 root 2. Do you see the pattern? Mm -hmm. The pattern is x, x, x root 2. What is my pattern? Get ready. X, 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 X root 2. Very good. I love that Collins just ding, ding. He says that's an important uh, property. I'm going to write that down. So perfect. X, X, X root 2. What's the pattern class? Get ready. X, 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 X root 2. As soon as you're looking back at me, I'll know you're ready. All right, you guys are fast note takers. Okay, for advanced thinking. I'm going to draw the triangle this way. This is still a 45-45 triangle. Okay, we're going to think a little bit. We're going to stretch our minds a little bit. The measurement of this side is 17 root 2. What is the length of each leg without doing any calculations? If you think you know, raise your hand. Bethany. It's 17. What is the class? Get ready. 17. 17 because the relationship says the two legs are x. And the hypotenuse, the longest leg, is going to be x times root 2. It's a totally cool formula. Okay? You guys pick that up pretty fast. Let me try one more just to make sure. Just to make sure. This time my 45 triangle is in a different orientation. And I know one side length. Six. What are the other lengths of the sides of my 45, 45, 90 triangle? Okay. Tape. Um, six. 
Six. And six root two. Six root two. Awesome. How many of you are like, I, I knew that. I got that. Sweet. You guys are picking this up so fast. Okay. That's as hard as it gets on the 45. So we're going to now erase that. We're going to go to the other type of triangle. So other type of triangle is built by starting with an equilateral triangle. Equilaterals have all the same length sides. In this case, we're starting with a two. Because you know why? I'm going to cut this equilateral triangle with a perpendicular bisector right down the middle. So what it does is it bisects this side length. It also creates a perpendicular angle. So really, I want to focus on this triangle. If the whole length is two from here to here, what's the length from here to here? Get okay, ready? One. One. Thank you for staying with me and listening. And then I know this length is two. This one is one. The question is, what is this length? Let's use Pythagorean's theorem. It says leg squared, we'll call it A, plus 1 squared equals 2 squared. So leg squared, leg squared, hypotenuse squared. A squared plus 1 equals 4. Isolate A by getting rid of the 1. We get A squared equals 3. I don't want A squared. I want A. So we're going to square root, square root. That leaves me with A equals root 3, the principal square root of a positive square root is root 3. This pattern is kind of cool. Oh, I didn't even talk about the angles yet. In an equilateral triangle, if all three sides are the same, are all of my angle measures the same? Nod if you agree. Okay, yes. If they're all the same, what's the angle measure for all three angles? Get ready? 60, 60 degrees. 60 degrees. Very good. 60 degrees. Now I did a perpendicular bisector. I cut that in half, so this one's 30. So I have a 30, 60, 90. What kind of triangle? Get ready. 30, 30 60, 90. Good. This is a 30, 60, 90. It's a special triangle. Look at the relationships. 1, 2, root 3. I kind of remember this one because it goes 1, 2, 3. But the 3 has got a root on it. So 1, 2, 3. Jacob says, this is important. I'm writing this down. So let's draw that separate. Make sure we understand. I'm going to exaggerate. Short side, one. Longest side. The longest side is always the hypotenuse in a right triangle. And root three. Let's try the same thing that we did earlier. If I took this triangle and I double the size, okay? I'm going to double it. I'm going to redraw it down here. But I'm going to try to exaggerate because there's for sure a shorter side. Let's double that. We get a two. This would double to be four. Double that, I'd get two root three. Let's triple it. Three, six, three root three. Mm -hmm. Let's quadruple it. Four, eight, four root three. One more. Let's times it by five. Five, ten, five root three. We see the pattern. Spencer, what's our pattern? The 30-degree one is x, the 60-degree one is 2x, and the 90-degree one is x, and root 3. Love it. I love that you kind of said the one that's by the 60 is the x, and then the longest one is the 2x. This one's our little smaller angle, 30 degrees. So our pattern is x, 2x, x root 3. What's our pattern? Get ready. x, 2x, x, x root 3. Good. x, 2x, x root 3. And I go short. And then the hypotenuse next, and then the longest leg is next. So let's, I'm going to change some orientation. I'll leave that up there. But I'm going to draw a couple more and make sure we know how to reorient ourselves. If they're not going, I'm going to exaggerate it. Here's your short leg. So that means this is 60. This one's 30, little binky, little tiny one. If I called this one 11, What's this one and what's this one? Let's do the hypotenuse first. Emmy. What would this one? The orientation sometimes confuses students because it's twisted and flipped. But remember this one, the short leg, if you look at the hypotenuse, it's twice as big as the short leg. So here's my short leg. Here's my hypotenuse. 22. Okay, so double your short leg to find your hypotenuse. How do I find my long leg? Lucas? 
find eleven made by just doubling eleven. Say it one more time. You just double eleven. Close. We actually yeah. double eleven to find this one. Oh yeah, that's my I thought we were just it would just be eleven x because eleven is x. Eleven is x, but there's gotta be more with it. Root three. Root three. Oh. Give me a nod if it's making sense. Chelsea's like, I got it, I got this one. Dakota, you got it? Okay, let's do one more. There's your 60, there's your 30. This is going to be the most advanced one of all. <gasps> of all? Eight root three. <gasps> Find this length eight. and this length. Oh, oh. that's eight. Don't blurt it out. Don't blurt it out. As soon as you think you know, put your hand up. Okay, so I need this one and this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. This is awesome. Emmy, what do you think? What's which one do you want to do? The short one? Eight. How many of you thought it was eight? Yes. Learning achieved. Okay. How about your hypotenuse, Olivia? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. You guys get this. This is awesome. So again, our pattern: x, two x, x root three. What's our pattern on a 30, 60, 90 triangle? Get ready. X, two x, x plus three. X root three. Okay, good. <laughs> Olivia's in learning position. Thank you, Olivia. Okay, this is a Major League Baseball diamond. It's a square, which side is 90 feet long. I know my projector stretches things a little bit, so it doesn't look like a square, but it is a square. And it says from base to base, it's 90. I'm just going corner to corner. If the base runner tries to steal second base, the catcher throws the ball from home to second base. Here. How far does the catcher throw the ball from home to second base? This is the relative for this distance, and this is all we know. Because it's a baseball field, we have to make some assumptions that from base to base is a 90 degree angle. We're also going to assume that the lengths between home and first and first and second are the same length. We're in feet. Based on this drawing and the information we know, what kind of triangle are we working with? Is it a 30, 60, 90? Is it 45, 45, 90? Or do we not have any idea? Josh? 45, 45. By what? That's true. How do you know? It was a square. It was a square. That's what I say. You cut it down the middle, it cuts the 90 down the middle. Half of 90 is 45. Okay, that works. All right, so based on my special right triangles, a 45, 45, 90 triangle has a relationship. What's my relationship for leg, leg, hypotenuse? Maddie. What's my relationship for leg? Just had any 45, 45 triangle. What are my relationships? Um, x, x, and x, and the square of x. x, square root of, what's inside the radical? Two. Two. I think maybe your brain knew that, but your mouth said x. <laughs> and we say x root two. So now if we know that this is 90 and 90, what's my distance here? Let's do it as a class. They ready? 90, 90 root, root two. two. 90 root two. How many of you knew that? Like knew it? Okay, some of you were like, ah, oh, we didn't even have to calculate anything, right? It's just x, x, whatever this is, you just put a root two behind it. 90 root two. So now, because they do want a, a measurement for measurement, you can't tell, hey, can you get enough chalk to do 90 root two? stripes down there. No, you have to calculate that out. So we know root 2 is about 1.41, and then that turns out to 126 points. Jacob? No, um, it's, um, it's exactly 127.2792206. No. Yeah, that's what it says on my calculator. 90 times 1.21. Who else can one point type? Type it in again. Oh. Wait, 90 see. times 1.2. Who's got it? No, it's 1.27.279. Say it out loud, Alan, uh, AJ. Okay, just, okay, we're typing in nine. You guys can do all this advanced math, but you can't type in one, 90 times 1.4. I didn't tell you to type in root two. I told you to type in 90 times the approximation because it says about. Uh, 
Exact? Okay. Somehow my other class had a decimal there. All right. So, and we're going to label this with feet. You guys are so funny. All right. You got to practice it. As soon as you are done with your uh, stand-up break, you'll get your practice problems. Mm -hmm.